Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Just wanted to go market hunting, try and find some deals in the Splinterlands marketplace through Peak Monsters. And I feel like I've found something that I'm going to be snagging and I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. People are always asking me like, what's cheap, what's affordable, you know, what would you want to buy if you had X amount of dollars? Personally, I'm beyond a place where I need to kind of augment my deck. I have a fully built deck. I've done that over the course of three years. If you're not there yet and you want to play, if you want to earn spending your time and attention, start by acquiring a deck either by buying a few cards here and there as you can afford them or perhaps just through renting. But then if you're renting it, you've got to make sure you're doing it cost effectively so that you can return that value to your pocket at the end of the season. It's possible. I'm uh, endeavoring to do it and I've done it for two seasons on now with my second season being a little less successful, but um, considering the first season we won a more, plus we've kept some cards, I think we're, we're cost neutral on two seasons. Now, so what am I doing? You know, if I'm not trying to build a deck, what am I doing? Well, my secondary deck could use a couple little very low mana monsters to throw in there. How about a Furious Chicken? Zero mana cost. It's just a meat shield, but then, you know, it can be so good at blocking one sniper attack or one sneak attack or one front row attack when you have no more mana to spare, well, you throw in the Furious Chicken. This thing will goes for $33 on a high bid. That's person, somebody's offering 33 US dollars. If you are selling one right now, you could get that. That's how quick this is. That's how liquid it is. It's, he's put in that bid. You, if you accept it, it's done. You get 33 US dollars worth of DEC that is cash outable, you know, through a pretty relatively in, a, in like problem free process. You have to go through Hive Engine and get another coin and then send it over to Binance and then cash it out. Um, I have videos on that if you're into it. But what's one of these go for? Just one, because I don't want to buy five. I don't want to spend $160 to get a five BCX built into one copy. Um, maybe that's a good price. But if I just want one, we're talking 41 US dollars, 41.50 to get one. And it's in cooldown for seven days. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to buy one monster that used to cost like 10 cents per token, 10 cents per card. Um, maybe it's worth it. Let's let's look around a little more. What are competitors are competitors are there for that kind of space in your deck? Well, there are no other monsters that have zero mana, but there are some other monsters that cost zero, uh, one mana, like this guy here, the Creeping Ooze. And how much is he going for? He, he only costs one mana. And again, he is very similar in the sense that he has low hit points. He's really not that powerful except for the fact that he's very inexpensive and he's going to give you one slow to your enemy which is sometimes a very significant debuff on your enemy's team um, for one mana cost and this guy it looks like the highest bid is 740 per bcx or if you scroll into the marketplace you can see that you could buy 105 units of these which would make it level seven giving him one attack two speed three hit points um, that would make him really useful in those battles where you, you can only put players, monsters that have attack. You know, you're going to slow your enemy, you're going to get one more attacker, plus three hit points to be, you know, a, a damage soak. And then, but I don't want to spend $180. So what about one individual copy? Well, there's one for eight bucks. We just saw that the chicken's 30, 30 or 40. I'm going to buy a couple. I could use one for my lower account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go eight, nine, ten. Now let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right now I'm I'm earning about my card is empty. Oh, that's my purchase. Here we go. So there's one, two, three, five creeping oozes, and it's gonna be forty-two US dollars. It's going to be 5,700 Dark Energy Crystals, which is actually a lot of money. It's 42 US dollars. Maybe you don't have 42 US dollars to spend on a, you know, a, essentially I'm speculating that these cards are going to appreciate. But I am I think I'm doing so in a logical manner. I'm comparing it to another card with similar low mana costs. And I'm asking the question, um, you know, how does this compare? And if that one is going for $40 a card, is it reasonable this one goes for $40 a card? I think that's a reasonable, logical thought process, and I'm willing to bet 40 bucks on it. Maybe you can't do that, but 
it's interesting to note that, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. 40, oh, that's right. It's it's not just 42 US dollars, it's 5,700 dark energy crystals. So what's that worth? Well, dollar value is right there, but how, do, how often would I get this? If I just played the game at the diamond level, which is where I play, um, how often would I get that? Right now I'm getting about, first of all, I'm gonna conclude the sale. Because that's we're, 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 there we go. The order will be processed in the background. So that was forty two hundred, was it? I'm gonna want to market history. Yeah, forty five hundred DEC roughly. So what is that worth? We're going back over here to my main account where we do battles, and in the last let's see, thirty three minutes, forty three minutes, ninety one minutes. That's not a good example. I need to show you how many games we can play in an hour. Well, I'm not playing very actively, but look at this, okay. 116 minutes ago, 103 minutes ago, 98 minutes ago, 95 minutes ago, 91. So on the screen you're seeing one, two, three, four, five battles that took place over the course of um, nine plus 16, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, one, two, three, four, five battles. 25 minutes, one battle every five minutes. That's that's taking time to find a, an opponent, then pick your team, wait for them to pick their team, then watch the battle, and then wrap it up. So one battle every five minutes, and I won one, two. I only won two of them. But that's uh, from those wins, we get about uh, 150 DAC, 130 DAC. So if you can win four matches, uh, and if we go over, how else can I look at this? leaderboard. I come over here, I can show you that my account has 26 battles this season and we've won 14 and we've, lot, we've won 14. So we're, we win slightly more than half of our battles and I showed you you can play five battles in a half an hour, uh, 10 battles in an hour. So if I win half of them in an hour and, and I play 10 in an hour, I'm going to win five games every hour. If I win five games in an hour and I'm getting 100, even 100 DEC every hour, <clears throat> Sorry, 100 DEC every victory, five victories in an hour, 500 DEC. So yes, those those cards I just bought were expensive, but they essentially amount to eight hours of gameplay. So $40 worth of uh, cards given to me by my time and attention spent in this game, playing this game for just a few hours. And those are assets I keep now. They're on my blockchain, like in my account, and I, and I can sell them in the future day. I can use them on my account as I see fit. I can lend them out to friends. Um, and these markets, if it's not obvious, all, it's important to notice that the markets are so illiquid that these prices could fluctuate dramatically. It's conceivable that after this video, the, the price will be up another $5. And you should check. You know, watch how many views this video gets, and then see see how that market goes on the creeping news. Because there's only 204 copies of this card on the market, and that's in the whole world. There's not some other market, some other place that you can go find it. This is every copy of the creeping news at all. Yes, there are thousands more available. It says 311,000 are totally available, but most of them are on people's accounts being played with and they're never, they're not listed for sale and maybe they're never gonna be listed for sale. And so this is the liquid supply. If if my channel has 2000 subscribers and even, you know, one in 10 of them come and buy one of these things, the, the supply is gone. Forget about bigger channels that have 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. Um, followers. So yes, this game, is, these cards are in some cases expensive, but the question that I sometimes ask is, are they, is their price appropriate with the value? I'd say the value of this card is probably equal to something like a Furious Chicken. So why is the Furious Chicken four times the cost, five times the cost? To me, that's a buying opportunity, and that's why I came in here today by five creepy newses. If that type of content is interesting to you, just make sure you stick around. Here we cover Splinterlands all day, every day, and we try to help create and innovate uh, ways and methods that you can sort of follow along with so that you can grind further, farther, faster, uh, spending your time and attention to receive rewards through this awesome game, Splinterlands. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. God bless.